Brothers and sisters, God is always present. Yes, you may have a tough time, and we all had our challenges in 2009. Maybe a tough year for some of us. But God never left you. He won't leave you in 2010. He'll be with you. He'll be with you. He'll be with you whether you're on the mountaintop or in the valley. Hallelujah. He'll be with you when you're facing the Red Sea and Pharaoh's army is in hot pursuit. God will not abandon you. I'm here to tell you he'll be with you. Amen. He'll be with your family. Amen. When you don't have food on the table, and you may, he'll be with you. Amen. He's going to provide. He's going to make a way where there seems to be no way. Why? Because God is with you. His presence is with you. You see, one of the problems that the Israelites had is that they kept forgetting. They kept forgetting about God's presence. See, God had done so much for them. God had done so much for you and I. We talked about the other night how grateful we should be. Amen. If we remember what God and how God has brought us through in many occasions. Amen. That's right. That's right. You see, they kept forgetting about that. And when the times get tough, they forgot about God's presence. And I think that there are at least two reasons why we forget about God's presence. Sometimes God blesses us and we become complacent. We become comfortable. And we become comfortable with what's going on in our lives that we don't even think about God. We stop praying, reading the Word. You see, when we were... When we were in the valley, when we were in the Craigmire, when we on when we were on the slippery slopes, and we were in places, Amen, that were tight. Oh man, we prayed. We were very spiritual. We'd be like Daniel. We prayed three times a day. Oh Lord, Amen. You remember me? You know. Oh Lord, you know I've been faithful to you. Oh Lord, you know. I did go to church, amen, three times last year. You know, Christmas, Easter, and Mother's Day. Do you remember that, Lord? Oh, I did pay some tithes every now and then. I did support the church every now and then. I mean, we got real spiritual, Lord. I helped my neighbor the other day. I did some things the other day. What's wrong, Lord? What's wrong, Lord? And then the Lord answers that little weak prayer. We begin, amen, to get a promotion. We begin, amen, things begin to come together that was apart. Amen. We begin, amen, God begin to bless us and touch us. We become overwhelmed with God's blessing. But sometimes we, we have to be careful. We have to be careful. Amen. We can become complacent. We can become comfortable. And we'll stop reading our Bible. We'll quit praying. We'll quit attending church. Amen. We won't need God. Somebody said, go with God and He'll go with you. Right. Can you say amen? Yeah. And sometimes too often we go alone and God is still with us. We don't realize that He is. We become too comfortable. That's number one. Amen. And then number two is, the fact is, is that God's presence, we get so complicated going to Elijah, we forget that God is with us. He's got, he got us there. Mm -hmm. Or, I've already touched on this, we get so busy that we don't take time to thank God for what He's done in our life. And listen, here's, here's, here's the part here I want to emphasize on. When we become too comfortable, or we become unthankful, ungrateful, either one of these two things are happening in our life, fear begins to creep in, believe it or not. Fear begins to creep into our lives. And when fear enters our lives, we forget to be strong. 
and in the power of his might. We forget to be courageous. Instead, we become weak and we become frightened. I mean, that's not hard to understand, is it? When you become disconnected from yes. the true vine, yes. Yes. when you're not yes. where you ought to be, any little thing creep up, you jump and scared. Yes. Devil can say boo. Yes. And I tell you what, we're ready to run. Yes. We're ready to turn and run. Why? Because we're not in God where we ought to be. Fear creeps in. And first thing again, we start doing, oh God, I repent. Oh, God, help me, Lord. I know I ain't been close as I should be. But, Lord, I tell you, if you get me out of this, I won't do that no more. That's right. That's bargaining with God. I heard somebody on television the other day, I believe the last time, they said, who do you think we are that we tell God, Lord, if you get me out of this? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yes. If you get me out of this. Well, what if you don't? You're not going to serve him. You're not going to worship him. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody saw to see that movie, that Christian movie? What is it, Giant? You see that? Facing the Giant. Facing the Giant. Every person should see it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, young lady, amen, went to the doctor and they told her she couldn't have a child. And she went out to her car. It shook her. Shook her to her knees. Went out to the car. And she prayed this prayer. Lord, whether I can or whether I can't, I'm going to serve you. Kind of like the three Hebrew boys when they throw them into the fire furnace. Lord, whether you deliver me or whether not, I'm not going to bend or bow down to Satan or to the idol. I tell you, we have to have that determination, yes, yes. brothers and sisters, to be successful, yes. to please God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And she just found out that God worked before she got out of the parking lot. They looked at the wrong sheet or diagnosis or whatever. Right? They came out and told us that, hey, we, we had the wrong, we gave you the wrong information. Hallelujah. Amen. You're okay. You tested all right. Amen. And I'll tell you, that, that's, what we're, that's what we need to get. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. We need to remember, amen, to be strong and courageous. And to do that, we need to what? Remember that God is with us. God's presence is with us. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. We need to replace that fear with courage. You see, that's what Joshua tells us. Have a short memory. Obey God's word and study God's word. And remember, God is with us. Let us stand together.